Welcome back everyone to another episode of Steam at Home. In today's episode, we are going to discuss coding. Now, when we hear the word coding, we might quickly think about giving instructions to a computer program or robot, much like the Dash robot seen here. But in this episode, we are going to talk about a different kind of coding, the kind that involves sending and receiving secret messages, the kind of coding a spy might use to send important information to another spy in a way that makes it really difficult for other people to understand. This art of writing and solving codes with hidden messages is called cryptography. Let me give you an example. Let's say you wanted to send the secret message, the eagle has landed. One method you might use to code this message is to use a simple shift cipher. With a shift cipher, each letter gets shifted to a new letter in the alphabet. For example, we might shift each letter three places. So the letter A becomes the letter D, the letter B becomes E, the letter C becomes F, and so on. Using this shift cipher, the message the eagle has landed would become... Well, that's hard to say. But there are lots of other ways to code messages. We are going to learn a cryptography method called the four triangle cipher. Here is an example of a four triangle cipher. You'll notice that this cipher is made up of four separate triangles. And the letters of the alphabet are arranged around these four triangles. Here's how it works. Let's say someone sent me this secret code word. Hmm. To decipher this code, I'll start by looking at the first triangle and matching it to the same triangle in the cipher. Notice these two triangles match. Next, I'll see where the dot appears on the same triangle. Notice it's on the outside of the triangle and at the top. I'll look to see which letter is located in the same position on the cipher triangle, outside and at the top. In this case, the letter is a D. So the first letter in our secret code word is a D. Now let's do the same thing for the other two triangles in our code word. The second triangle is the same as this triangle in the cipher. This time, the dot is located inside the triangle at the top. So the second letter is an O. Finally, I'll repeat the process for the last letter. The last triangle is the same as this one in the cipher. The dot is located on this position in the triangle. So therefore, the final letter of our code word is G. Our code word was dog. Once you get used to using the cipher, you can write your own coded messages like this. Then you can send it to someone and see if they can decode your message. Let's see if you can decipher the code I am sending you. I'll give you a hint. It's my favorite animal. In the comment section below is a link to the cipher I used in this video and another link to a Google form where you can test yourself to see if you can decode another secret message. Have fun coding and we'll see you next episode.